Well, this is another one of these examples in the last story that I did on this show. And if you want to watch the whole show, there's a link down below. Make sure you do. In which I was talking about Jennifer Granholm getting special, her company getting special favors from the Biden administration. This is another example where we have someone who, surprise, surprise, is in a position of authority based upon moral posturing that he himself is not living up to. In this case, we're talking about John Kerry, and we're going to call this one, we're going to call this the video version of this, let's call this, John Kerry Financial Records Exposes Conflict of, of Interest at, at, at Climate Czar. Uh, John Kerry Climate Conflict of Interest Grassley Financial Disclosure, that's the key phrase we're going for, and we could just call this Oil Man Kerry is now Climate Czar. I think that sums it up. So we got a partial financial disclosure reveals Kerry is conflicted and Grassley wants a full report. And this, folks, is the first topic report of the whole show, which is the first time this has happened since I've been doing this show. John Kerry has major conflict of interest ties Grassley charges. That's our topic report. From The Hill, we get Grassley asks Blinken to provide potential conflicts involving John Kerry. Senator Chuck Grassley, Republican of Iowa, on Monday requested additional information regarding potential conflicts of interest related to John Kerry, President Biden's special envoy for climate, and his previous involvement in finance and energy investing after he left his government post as Secretary of State. In a letter to Secretary of State Anton Blinken, Grassley wrote that it is unclear exactly what matters Mr. Kerry has been barred from working on and whether he has received any waivers for specific matters that he would otherwise be recused from, according to Axios, which obtained a copy of the letter. The operation of good government requires a faithful adherence to ethical rules, Grassley said. Well, that's not possible. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have governments. Uh, well, I, I don't think we should have governments, but I'm not saying that from a biblical perspective, that governments in and of themselves are are not, quote-unquote, justified. But I'll, I'll just say that governments in general, that their ethics only come about when they have a sense of a reality of power that tells them that they can't get away with not being ethical. But wherever governments have the perception, in this case this government may be right in the assumption, that the people will not hold them accountable to their unethical behaviors, well, then they'll be unethical. So there is government and, and ethics. I'll just say that they don't go hand in hand naturally. They don't go hand in hand. More, more headlines. John Kerry financial disclosure report shows hypocrisy and greed. This is from the Boston Herald. We thought we knew about John Kerry's hypocrisy and greed, but guess again. It turns out that while the former Massachusetts senator and current Biden administration climate czar was lecturing us all about climate change, he was holding dirty oil and gas stocks and pulling down millions in corporate earnings. Of course he was. These moral supremacists, these billionaire moral supremacists from on high, that uh, they don't think that uh, our lives of uh, penury and, and, and scratching at the dirt, uh, that, that we suffered enough. No, no, we have to pay for their sins. That's literally what billionaires are asking us to do, pay for their sins. They're, that's an upside-down Christedness in which you sacrifice the uh, uh, you sacrifice uh, coercively, you sacrifice others so that you can continue sinning. <laughs> Kerry's financial disclosure forms show his massive stock por portfolio and assets, some of which he was forced to divest since taking his possession position and special presidential envoy. You know, you could argue that him getting rid of this stock might be, well, he knows that he's going to enact policies or try to enact policies, exact or influence, however you want to word it, policies that will hurt the very companies that he's invested in. So it's kind of like insider trading. So there's that, out. which by the way, insider trading is apparently leading, legal for politicians to partake in. So that's all you need to know about government that uh, it's it's perfectly legal for politicians to use their insider knowledge about what government is going to do to to make decisions about how they will invest in the stock market. You can't prosecute them for that. 
The jet-setting former senator pulled down a $5 million salary in a no-show job as chairman of Bank of America's Global Advisory Council. $125,000 in consulting fees from something called the Rise Fund, which was founded by U2 singer Bono, and $382,000 in speaking fees from Waste Management and Deutsche Bank, among dozens of others. And that's how... That's how a lot of these companies, they, they, they pay their politicians off. They, they have, quote-unquote, speaking fees. So they, they hire you to speak, and they pay you ridiculous amounts of money to give one speech. And it's not because your speech is all that valuable. It's, it's so that they can legally pay the graft that they pay to politicians to continue to use the weapons of the state to, to protect their interest at the expense of, of we the poor's. Here's another headline. John Kerry endangers our nation and should resign. That's from Texas GOP vote. Well, they're Republicans, so of course. But I will say to the Republicans, you've got plenty of your own John Kerrys in your camp. Plenty. I issued the following statement Tuesday in response to media reports that former Secretary of State and current climate envoy John Kerry informed an Iranian official about covert Israeli operations. John Kerry should resign, not because of the reported troubling statements per se, but because he is a fool and endangers our nation and Israel. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that I want to endanger Israel or they support endangering Israel, but that 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 it, uh, endangered our nation is the only phrase that really matters here if we're talking about government officials. He is more interested in preening on the international stage and pretending to be Secretary of State while promoting unicorn energy policies that empower Iran, China, and Iran enemies rather than America and Israel. Of course, this is not new, as the Biden administration has a habit of stabbing Israel in the back at every possible opportunity. And again, this, is, this in and of itself is not a reason to get rid of an, uh, an official in government. Again, I'm not supporting stabbing Israel in the back. Not at all. I'm just saying. Uh, but at any rate, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm done worrying now. I'm gonna read the rest of these headlines and get done with this this little uh, report here. The facts around leaked audio about John Kerry from CNN.com. New climate. I'm sure this is uh, this is uh, this is going to be an apologetic to defend their their guy. New climate envoy John. I could be wrong, and I'm not going to read it. I don't care. I'll let you read it. It's there. The link is there for you to read. New climate envoy John Kerry sold off energy holdings to avoid conflict of interest. Disclosure shows John Kerry denies leaked audio claims he shared Israeli info with Iran. Documents reveal, and that's from People.com. Last one was from ABC News. Documents reveal John Kerry invested in numerous oil companies from Yahoo News. And finally, John Kerry's potential conflicts of interest as climate envoy sought by Wrestling. And I'm going to end it there. <laughs>